Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, today you're going to go on a little bit of a journey with me. So my sister came to me a few weeks ago and she wanted to talk to me about a piercing. And it's called the Shenman piercing or anxiety piercing. And obviously because I suffer from anxiety among other things, she thought that it would be something that would be really, really good for me. So she had researched somewhere and we decided to go so um unfortunately on the day that we were meant to go i wasn't well enough to go and she went and she got the piercing as did my niece turns out where they had done the piercing wasn't actually the right place so my sister found this out by talking to someone else who had actually had theirs done as well and she had got it done in the right place and it had actually worked for her so my sister asked where this was and the place that she's talking about is called piercings by vesta it's in the belfast city center um it's near the in shops or what used to be the in shops rather and this guy is so so busy with these piercings i will link his facebook down below you'll see that people are sending him after having theirs so originally Whenever my sister was first talking about it, I wasn't up for it. I was really, in fact, I was really anxious about it because I would be allergic to a lot of metals. In fact, you can see here, I wore my Fitbit for a couple of days and took it off a week ago. And there's still a mark here from where the metal bit on the back of my Fitbit reacted with me. I hardly ever have my wedding rings on because I react with the metal. So that was really worrying me as well, having something in my ear that would cause me to take reactions so i it, it probably helped to to cause me to be awake the whole night before actually going so i was so exhausted and ended up not going that time and as i say sorry as i say i'm really glad i didn't because it turns out that it was in the wrong place and i hate that my sister and my niece ended up having their piercing done and it wasn't the right place so when my sister found Vesti and she chatted with them, she went in and she ended up getting hers done there and then. I say there and then, she had to wait like two hours because he has such a long queue. Like this guy works ridiculous hours and is so busy and so many people are coming in for this. So whenever she told me about it and told me about the release and, and how she felt, I was like, right, okay. Yeah, I'll go for it. I mean, he uses implant grade metal so that... People don't react to it, people don't have issues with it. So right away I was more reassured because I thought, right, okay, I don't need to think about getting like a plastic um, stud or something in my ear because I didn't want that. I remember what it was like having like plastic things through my tongue. Um, so anyway, we went the next day and I was anxious about it. My usual blood pressure spike, my palpitations were gone. And I was really, really anxious. I, I, I'm in pain all the time. So the thought of actually putting myself through more pain for something that I wasn't 100% sure was going to work either. Um, so that really, really worried me. But anyway, guys, I'm going to put the footage in here right now of what actually happens, what, what he does. So you'll be able to see him actually piercing my ear. If you don't want to see that, I will put, I'll put a link where you can skip ahead to me actually talking again. But anyway, have a little watch and see exactly what he does. Okay. Okay, let me turn your head and don't move please, okay? Okay. Yeah, it's very trendy. You could it feel is really like, nippy. Can you feel a bit like... Yes. Oh wow. 
like they're not. You actually feel like you're almost floating. It is a very bizarre feeling. Drunk, drunk. So yes. Uh, I feel like I'm stoned. Yeah. It's so weird because you can feel you moving through my ears. Yeah, yeah. Just keep on. Just keep on. Just bring them out so it's okay. Okay, so if you would just sit up straight, put your hands there. Do that. And just you know, let it go. Don't open your eyes. Relax your shoulders. And then just open your eyes. It looks like it's sleeping. If you, if you start to speak, it should be a bit slower. So just say your name and date of birth. Look at your eyes, you look like completely stone. Just take and I, I was just like, can I just lie down and go to sleep now? Take, take a look at the mirror. Your eyes are. Your pupils yeah, okay. are huge, and you look like <laughs> your eyes are like glasses. Eyes are in the I think fine now. It's, it is better. so weird. Yeah. I have to put that. Okay, so this is flat on the ear. Okay. On the inside, so your, your glasses should not be in the way. Right. So that too will be, please wipe the all of the glasses. <laughs> you are so sh Okay, so now that you've seen exactly what happens in this piercing, I want to tell you how I feel about it. So right away, once I had, now, I will be honest, it does hurt. It did hurt me. My niece said it didn't really hurt her. It was sore, but it wasn't horrendously sore. It was nippy. It felt like pressure. You were just conscious of something was happening to your ear that that feeling shouldn't normally be there. But it wasn't agony. It wasn't something that I wanted to pull my ear away from. So I was okay with that. So then once it had gone through and I was waiting on him to put the the thing through my ear, as you've seen, I felt like I was floating. I felt different. Something wasn't the same. And I started to feel, the only way I can describe it is I started to feel as if I was high, as if I was stoned, that calm, that slow feeling that you get from being stoned. And then he made me take a deep breath and breathe out. And I have to say, whenever I breathed out and I felt my shoulders drop and I felt less tense, I wasn't anxious anymore. In fact, my sister said that my face wasn't as red as it was before, so my blood pressure had obviously come down. And I started to feel really emotional because I knew that this is actually that it had actually worked. I knew that this was going to help me because already my shoulders didn't feel as tense. I didn't feel as like this here. I, I didn't feel that lump in my throat. And whenever we went after that, we went to Castle Court. And we kind of lost my sister, not horrendously lost her. Like it was literally a couple of minutes. But that experience would normally have had me with palpitations going, where is she? Has something happened to her? Um, what if we go this way and she's looking there and we're constantly looking for it? You know, I would go through all these scenarios and my heart would start going like this and my blood pressure would go up and I would start really freaking out. I, I would start worrying that people have collapsed or something like that. But I didn't. I said to my niece, do you know what? Let's go to the car. We'll wait there. Your mother will meet us there. And I realized then, hang on a second, this is weird. 
why am I not freaking out? And that reassured me even more. But I can't even believe that straight after the wave of emotion that comes over you, I actually thought, I'm going to cry. I could feel the tears welling up in my eyes as I was just sitting thinking about it all. And Vesti actually said that lots of people actually do cry because it just releases so much emotion in you that you just start crying. So I have to say, guys, I am going to go and get the other one done because I think for having fibromyalgia and chronic pain, it might actually help even more to have more of a release from anxiety and tension and stuff. They do have one um, that goes through here. Where is it here? I think it is. That is for... Um, that is for chronic pain but it's more from pain from here up so it's for headaches and things like that obviously more of my pain is from here down but if it's something that you suffer from migraines um, things like that then it, it's worth looking into but I have to say I am so overwhelmed at how amazing I have felt since it and yesterday I didn't get my afternoon blood pressure spike that I normally do I don't know whether that's just a coincidence but i know i felt different yesterday and i'm going to keep monitoring it but i have to say it is something that really works and it's something that other people should consider as well anyway guys thank you so much for watching this if you got to the end put in the comments i can't believe you met joey mcintyre anyway guys i love you i will see you in my next video bye bye